We've long waited and it's finally here. It's the Fender Limited Edition Suona Strat, marrying principles from acoustic guitar instruments to the electric guitar. Stick around, we're gonna tell you all about it. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So you might have heard about this because it was announced last year and uh, we ordered it immediately and it just now arrived. Better late than never, Fender. <laughs> and when I say last year, I don't mean like December. Wasn't it in the middle of the summer? Was some, or spring? Around that. And we were told like, you know, they're gonna be, take a while and they're gonna be limited and hopefully all, and I was like, no, we're, we're gonna get them. Set right? expectations, right? Yeah. This is one of three instruments in the Suona series, which is limited. This is um, what we like to call a Stratocaster here in Stratomacaster. the Stratocaster? Yeah. Um, there's also a Tele version, which has not dropped yet. And there's also, very interestingly, and piquing my interest, a jazz bass. Jazz bass. But we got the strap first, and we're eager, so we're going to show it to you right now. Um, pretty unique. Release from Fender. It's interesting. It's a thin line strat. They haven't done this very often. Last time I think they did it was with the Eric Johnson one, which I thought was very, very cool. This is a little bit different take on it because, as I said at the very onset, this is kind of a blending of acoustic and electric type building practices. So the top on this is Italian Alpine Spears. Not ash or alder or anything else. There That's is ash, ash on the back. Yeah, we got an ash body. Um, that is thin line body, so it's hollowed out, but mm -hmm. you got a flat spruce top. Right. If you can tell, this is not carved. Um, yeah, flat top spruce, and also kind of interesting for Fender. I mean, they do it in custom shops and some of the AV2s. Nitro finish guitar. Nitro finish, and the, that flat spruce is interesting because it's going to have a resonance to it. Um, I know there's a lot of debate on the internet about does it matter and here's what i will say everything matters the extent to which things matter vary depending upon how well the guitar is made but a top that's both hollowed out semi-hollow thin line in this particular case and the type of material is going to change the way the strings work and the pickups are just picking up what the strings are doing um i, I also think it's interesting we noted other thin lines have sometimes like the ej they still have the curvature. Mm -hmm. um, this is more like some of the custom stuff that was built uh, back in like the 80s and the 90s for like Stevie and uh, Mark Knopfler had some guitars like this where it was it's very squared off. And it's kind of on purpose in this particular case because you couldn't bend a piece of spruce um, in order to accommodate that. You'd have to like carve it into place um, yeah. or just keep it like this where it's closer to what you'd see on an acoustic guitar. Yeah, so you got the spruce top, flat, hollowed out thin line ash body, roasted flame maple neck. Um, and there's a couple things on here that it's kind of like a not quite artisan, not quite custom shop, but it's got some of those features. I mean, with the nitro, premium woods and stuff. It's, I'll it's tell you sweet. what this reminds me of is my select strat. So early, early on when I first started here and we started doing videos, we got in some of the Fender Select stuff. They've stopped making those, I think, I think because it was cannibalizing custom shop sales. Probably. Because that, I love my Strat. It's bird's eye maple, it's quilted top, it's nitro finish. It's very custom-esque. And I, this is very much like that. This is yeah. very much like a custom shop instrument. Um, ebony fingerboard with no fret dots, which I love. I think that's a sharp look. This like, is- Like a classical guitar. Yeah, this is violin burst, mm -hmm. um, which I like that is mirrored up on the headstock. It's just a sharp look. It also kind of reminds me of their violin master a little bit. Got the, you know, it's it's got those elements of like the select, a custom shop, and artisan. It's just a unique guitar. I'm excited to see the telly and the jazz bass, but for Fender, yes, it's a Stratocaster. And it's got the similar formula. But it's kind of cool. And it's kind of like a unique left field thing. Um, these are 69 custom shop 69 mm -hmm. pickups. Nice. And this is a um, Suona bridge pickup. A specially made bridge pickup for this particular guitar. 
that brings out enhanced harmonics. I mean, who wants less harmonics? I need more I harmonics. Want more. I just want a more knob. Yeah. I don't even need any other knobs. Just give me novices more. This guitar's got more. It's got less in the body. To give you more. Uh, but it gives you more. It's definitely... Hey, let's talk about that weight, okay? Of being light? Yeah. Yeah, it's a light guitar. We always got this guy's like, I need a Strat that's like under 8 pounds, 7 pounds. There you go. Yep, you got something light. Um, I ran this to the Blues Junior. It definitely has, like it says in the rundown of the pickups, like it it is heavy duty. It's a, it's a bright and loud sound. Um, that is such a rudimentary way of putting it. It's it's a full strat tone, but mm -hmm. I do think being a thin line, having the spruce top, having these pickups on it, it's definitely like a lead instrument cut through and, and rock and roll kind of thing, you know? Well, let's take a listen to it, and then on the other side, we'll talk about a few more specs that I think are important. <laughs> So there you go with the Suona Strat. It's got a few other specs that I think are pretty cool and unique and, again, remind me of those select instruments. So you've got vintage tuners on it, and you've got a vintage-style tremolo bridge with the bent steel saddles. You've got the little sticker there. If you ever noticed that, that's because there's a spring in there to give you resistance on your tremolo bar. The other thing that kind of... So there's a lot of this, if you haven't picked up, that's bridging the gap between vintage and modern. Yeah. So does the radius. It starts at 7 and a quarter and flattens out at a compound to nine and a half. So you're going literally from a vintage radius to a modern radius. That's pretty cool. It is cool, that's a good feature. Over a really fast playing ebony board. Yeah, it's a, uh, you know, like I said, sometimes it's, so light. it's easy to get a little bit like, oh, come on, Fender. Do, do some, something. Do something, <laughs> do something cool, you know? I do think this is a cool guitar, I think it, there's, there have been a few things recently. I like those roasted neck, you know, American Pro 2 FSRs. Mm -hmm. I 
We sold out of those. I think we got a couple more. So if you're watching this, we got more of the Tellys in, and we still have some of the Strats, which are, I mean, roasted neck, custom shop pickups, and a Pro 2 Strat. Is yeah, like, it, it's great. So I've been digging those. I've been digging the uh, the first of the 70th anniversary Strats that we've gotten. Mm -hmm. um, really cool finishes and stuff. And there is going to be more, just a heads up, from the 70th anniversary. There's going to be some really cool stuff. But a lot of it is very tried and true. This is just paying tribute to... 1954. This is vintage and modern and just unique and kind of stands alone in their lineup right now. Um, I think it sounds great. It, it's light, plays easy. Um, it's just an, a nice guitar. Of course, uh, the Tele will be similar in the jazz bass, way out of nowhere, but that'll be cool having a thin line jazz bass. Um, but yeah, I dig it. I think it's very cool. I like it. I like it. It's got some cool resonance. It's got a really nice weight to it. It's balanced very well. It has a great feel. I like nitro finished instruments, generally speaking. Um, so yeah, it ticks all the boxes and it's unique. So if you are, you know, one of those guys that likes the vintage, modern, mixed aesthetic with something that's unique, this guitar is for you. And there are very limited uh, numbers of them. That's why it took so long for us to get get yeah. one. So yeah, I don't know how many we're gonna get. I think we asked for maybe three or four and they weren't sure if they were going to be able to get us that many yeah i don't have a number off the top of my head of how many they're making but usually if we ask for a certain amount we typically get it um and it was up in there so i don't know if we're going to have two or three or four or five or 50 of these but they're it's not going to be 50 and they're going to be limited um yeah and not inexpensive but not ridiculously priced just like the whole aspect of it kind of being custom shop ask without being custom shop it comes in at under custom shop prices at 29.99 yeah as of right now you can check our website for the latest pricing because anything is subject to change at will and at someone's whim so yeah <laughs> 29.99 for nitro finish thin line spruce top stratocaster when are you going to get that and you better act fast because like we said we only got a few this is the first one and I don't know when the next one's supposed to hit our docks, so uh, you should go to our website, which is alamomusic.com. And evidently do it violently because you Cooper's just log hitting on. stuff. <laughs> but you can check out... Ask your parents before you log on. <laughs> you can check. <laughs> we had anyone like add to cart. No, my son was not supposed to do that. A few it's times. Happened, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but you can check out all the photos. You can check out the specs. You can chat with someone online. So if you're one of those... You know, people that just doesn't like talking on the phone. That's okay. We'll, we'll still get a guitar to you. No worries. That works. So if you are new to our channel and you want to see the Tele review or any of the other cool stuff that we have coming, make sure that you subscribe, you turn on notifications, you like our videos just to clue in the rest of the guitar-loving world about how cool Cooper is, um, and make sure that you keep coming back for more and we'll keep showing you some cool stuff. That's our promise to you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Thank you.